Hello, welcome back again to Professional English One and we are going to continue with our fixes, a topic that is quite interesting and gives a lot of uh, possibilities to understand vocabulary and broaden the uh, vocabulary again. We are going through a lot of examples. Let's begin. Uh, uh, I'm sorry that it's not possible to abound much on each uh, example, but uh, you need to just pay attention to the, the form it has and also to the meaning this will be. Okay, this, this honest, disappear. Okay, negative prefixes. Ill, illegal, illiterate, im, impossible, impatient. Okay, in, incorrect, inadequate, irresponsible, irregular, unhappy, unfair. All these prefixes will mean the opposite or the negative form or situation expressed. Dishonest, for example, is a person that has no honesty. Disappear is the opposite, completely opposite to appear. Illegal, the same. The opposite to legal. I literate some people that didn't have, that didn't have uh, enough studies or um, didn't study at all. Impossible, it's not possible. Impatient, that has no patience. Incorrect, no correct, inadequate, no adequate, and etc. Okay. Repetition, of course, re or re is the uh, uh, prefix that indicates that something has to be done again, that was done again, or whatever. Rearm, recreate, rebuild. Rearm means that you need to uh, build again something to put uh, the things together again or also to give some arm, arms, in this case uh, weapons, okay? And recreate and rebuild will follow the same line of thinking. Cooperation, to cooperate, cooperation, okay? To work together. Coexist, that can live at the same time uh, with different species, races or whatever. Collaborate, again, work together and help each other to uh, reach some uh, goal. Deforestation, D is deprivation, something that lacks of something. Deforestation, forestate is plant, deforestate is um, to cut trees, deforestation is the action. Defrost. Frost is um, makes something very cool, like freezing, and defrost is the opposite, to take, uh, to give temperature to those things that were defrosted. Dehydrate is took the water from something. Ill, ill bread, ill bread is. Uh, refers to somebody or something that uh, has not good behavior, is uh, bad-mannered, and so on. And you have some words, uh, if you pay attention to the picture, that will give you more um, explanation, that will clarify your definition of ill-bred. Ill-judged, uh, that was uh, judged in a bad way, that was not correctly judged. Miss, misbehave is behave in a correct form. Misunderstand, understand something in the incorrect form. Overpopulation, a lot of population, more than necessary most of the time, more than possible. Overweight, more weight than uh, recommendable. Oversleep, to sleep more time than uh, it was uh, planned or necessary. Under, it means below. Underweight, 
that has not enough weight according to the size, year, whatever. Underestimate, to estimate below the real situation, be below the real numbers, for example. Four, before. Foretell, to tell before. Foresee, to see before. Forecast, to cast before, to predict. Forethought, to uh, think in advance before something happens, uh, to prevent or whatever. Mono, just one, monolingual. Bi, two, bilingual. Tri, triangle, three. Holy, polytheistic. Okay, in this case, describes a person that will have many gods to, um, to love or to adore. Multi, many, multimillionaire, many millions. Okay. And now we go with suffixes. Adding ness to a word, to a name, uh, or uh, to an um, adjective will give the condition of happiness, means the quality of happy. Darkness, the same of dark. Illness, the quality of ill. Friendship, the quality of friends. The relationship that maintains of, uh, friends. Relationship, again, a, a relation, a, the quality of relation. Hood, childhood, a state of being when you are a child. Brotherhood, the same, the state of being when you're a brother. Development is uh, the quality of develop. Disappointment, the same, the quality of disappointing, of disappoint. We have some also abstract nouns that are formed by adding uh, ands, ands, i, it, etc. Let's see examples. Performance, how to perform. What, what was the, 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 the way the performing resulted in? Independence. Independent, independence. Jealousy, jealous, jealousy. Immune, immunity. Variety, variant, variety. Or vary, variety. Educate, education. Connect, connection. Dumb, that expresses um, the, the extent the, of something uh, or the belongings to something or someone. Kingdom. King is uh, the head of a dynasty. The, the kingdom is uh, refers to its dominance. Bore down, boredom, sorry, boring, bore, boredom, okay, in Spanish that would be aburrimiento. Professions, we add ER or or R. Employer, actor, employer, actor in, in, in American English. Employee, interviewee, trainee, okay, Employee is the person that is employed. Interviewee is the person that is interviewed. Trainee is the person that is trained. Okay? But employer is the one who employs, an actor is the one who acts. That's the difference between employer or employee, for example. Employer is the one who employs, that performs the action. Employee is the one that is employed. Okay. Artist. Novelist, scientist. An artist is a person that practices art. Novelist is a person that writes novels. A scientist is a person who practices science. Historian, politician, electrician. A person or persons that practice history or that um, study history, politician, 
uh, well, it's a person that uh, practices politics. Politics. An electrician is a person that works with electricity. Servant and superintendent. A servant is a person who serves. A superintendent is a person who leads, who manages something, an industry or whatever. Quality again, reliable, something that you can rely on. It's trustable again. Responsible, somebody who has responsibility in, in its actions or performance. Attractive, someone who attracts. Creative, someone who creates. Dangerous, something that has danger. Ambitious, a person who ambitious, uh, who wants, who greets for many things. Noisy, full of noise. Angry, full of anger. Healthy, full of hearth. Or with hearth, with anger, with noise. Oh, nationality is very easy. Italian, American, Chilean. Chinese, Portuguese, English, Spanish, Polish, Finnish. Um, uh, and adjectives can be used to give a reductive meaning. Uh, for example, childish, greyish, yellowish, childish that is acting like a child, greyish that has um, an appearance of grey, Yellowish, an appearance of yellow. It's not quite yellow, but it seems yellow. The presence or absence. Full, useful, full of utility, powerful, full of power. Useless, that has no use, without use. Powerless, again, that has no power or has no power. Scientific, technical, or cultural language. Okay, we have various suffixes, in this case, cultural, national, okay, uh, geographical, whatever. Circular, nuclear, atomic, historic, or historical, okay. To make or to become. Realize, realize. Realize with Z is American English. Realize with an S is British English. Purify, the action of give purity. Justify, the action of giving justice or um, giving the reasons uh, uh, that were followed to do something. Shorten, make something short. Soften, make something soft. Manner, slowly, carefully, uh, readily, whatever. Slowly. In Spanish, the uh, ending li is uh, translated as mente. Slowly, lentamente. Carefully, cuidadosamente. Okay, let's continue and wait for the next class. Thank you very much, and we are going to be uh, in touch next time. Thank you.